Hello, and welcome to another bowling game session. Today we'll be walking through this using Python. If you recall in the last session, when we used Ruby, I'd mentioned that I had written very close to zero Ruby code in my career. Understand that I've written even less Python. This is in fact the only work I've ever done in Python. So while this will certainly drive itself to be syntactically correct and physically function the way our tests expect it to, I do not expect this to be a ideal or idiomatic Python solution, but in classic test-driven development style, we can leave that as an exercise for refactoring another time using our tests to drive that refactoring. So for now, let's just take a look at what we have. We have our empty bowling game, and then we have our currently empty tests. And just to get things going, we'll start off with our simplest test. That is that we can create a game. This will, of course, fail because we have no class called bowling game. So let's create that class. Now I'm actually not entirely sure in Python how to just create an empty class. So rather than look that up or spend a whole lot of time on it, we'll follow the test-driven development principle and just go with the simplest thing possible which for me at this time is to just create a constructor that does something. And we know that something can simply be defining an empty array. That passes. Nothing to refactor at this time. So let's go on to our gutter game test. This will, of course, fail because roll and score don't exist. So let's create those. And this, for now, can just return the simplest thing possible, a zero. All right, that passes. The only refactoring to do is get rid of this unnecessary test, since the second test we have validates the same thing. And now we can keep going. So our next test here is all ones. And just like with the gutter game, we just roll the same thing 20 times. In this case, we're rolling ones, and we assert that the score should equal 20. Of course, it's not going to because we hard-coded a zero, so that will naturally fail. So let's see. Well, here we probably want to loop through that array, so let's define our result and define our index. We don't even need a, that index actually. In range of 20. Oops. Result plus equals self dot rolls of i. Return that result. All right, tests pass. No refactoring to do here. But if we go in here, we see that we have some repeated code. Let's define a setup and create a class level variable here. All right, test still pass. And we can probably go back to our classic roll many helper method. Uh, 
what do I normally put first? I think I put pins first. And then here we can just say roll many and we want zero pins 20 times and here we want one pin 20 times all right everything still passes now speaking of refactoring I'm gonna speed up a little bit like we normally do here because we know that we're gonna have to go through frame by frame with this so rather than start our next test and then back it out since I've done this before Let's use the tests we have to drive that refactoring. So let's see here. Now we're going to create our roll index. And then for frame index in range to 10, we're going to do something else entirely here. We're going to say uh, result plus equals self.rolls of roll index plus self dot rolls oops of roll index plus one and roll index plus equals two. All right, that works. Now we're going through frame by frame. So now I think we're ready for our next test, which is testing a spare. We say game dot roll five. Roll five again. And a three. And now we roll zero pins. What was it? Seventeen times? Yes. I think that's right. And we assert the score should equal, let's see, 16. So 13 for the spare frame plus another 3. That should fail because we asserted 16. Probably got a 13 instead. So now in here, we can add our conditional. See, that is rules of roll index plus rules of roll index plus one equals ten. Then result equals quite a bit more. It equals the next roll as well. It's just else and colon. And let's see what that looks like. That passes. Any refactoring to do? Eh, no real refactoring here, but here I would like to clean start cleaning this up a little bit. So let's start start defining our helper methods. We normally go with is spare on something like this. Uh, oh, we need a roll index. And we simply return this. Let's see, does that work? That does work. All right, so now we can continue with our helper methods here. Uh, let's call this spare score. Oops, it's not this itself. And then we'll also create frame score. And 
that should also work and it does alright that's a bit cleaner this reads a little more nicely a little more like prose so now let's move on to our next test first we roll a 10. I'm realizing now of course that things like rolls and is spare and spare score and all that they're not private Again, I'm not really sure how to do that in Python. I could probably look that up. But right now, the tests don't really require that, so it's not something we need to do. And now we'll roll, like we normally go with a 4 and then a 3. And then we roll 0 16 times and assert that the game score should equal 24 because the first frame gives us a total of 17 plus 7 for the next frame that should be an assert error and it is well, actually it, uh, index out of range yeah we ran into that same problem before it's another issue with this that again the tests aren't driving us to that so we can leave that as an exercise for another time but for now, let's just continue with this pattern. And this one's simple enough. If that first one equals 10, then it's a strike. And let's also define our strike score, which is 10 plus 2 of these. And now here we can say if is strike then result includes a strike score else if or l if I guess in Python and then of course we want to move this up because it's different in one of these conditionals and now tests pass that looks good we're following the same pattern as usual nothing to refactor here let's go on to our perfect game test where we roll a 10 12 times of course that score should equal 300 and of course it does and I think last time we added another interesting test all spares and that was we roll many let's see it was 21 times we rolled five I think it was and what was the score on that I think the score was 15 per frame should be 150 and that passes alright so even with our little extra test we still pass now we've identified some issues here that we could correct issues like we have some things that probably should be private but aren't uh, if private even exists in Python I'm not entirely certain and of course we have uh, a lack of array checking so if we ever gave it a partial game that would fail and so that would be another test we could add at another time but at least for the standard bowling game kata to get us used to the red green refactor cycle of test driven development this works out pretty well. That's it for a bowling game in Python. Thanks for watching.